Hello, I am Generation Internet, and this is the map that you have to work with. This will be a quick kind of fly-through. It'll be specifically for Blue 4 at DT Gozel's request. This is mainly because I thought about doing a video for both sides, to be fair, but if I do, I'll do them separately, just because I'm probably going to slip up and reveal something OPSEC to either side at some point. So this will be Blue 4. Uh, this is a view of the whole map, uh, at this distance with the quality down, trees are turned off, you can kind of see where they are, know where they are already. Uh, if you hear roll 20, that's me, not you, uh, it's going on in the background right now. Over here, we have your spawning village. Uh, this is the direction you're coming from, you can see on the main map. You're coming up the road, the highway is here, uh, and the Russians are coming down from the other way, which you can see from the big maps. I'll get down now and do some actual view of the topography, because this isn't actually all that different from what you can see already. So looking from your spawn point in the village of Bistrik, uh, here's kind of the overhead view, get low down, going down the road towards the intersection of the highway. So you can see you kind of got hills off to your left flank here, coming up along the road, it's all kind of flat, forests, big open plains out here, hills, trees on the left, a lot of farmers fields. So you come out to the actual intersection yourself, here's that bus stop, you can see it on Google Maps, real neat. Uh, again, hills out to the left from here, flat plains out to the east, south, and eventually a big old forest and swamps in the north. So that's what it looks like to the road. It's still mostly flat, again, like, the map is kind of hilly, elevated side there. And this road kind of runs along the outside, so you got your highlands, you got your lowlands. So again, starting from your spawn, and this game is on like the lowest graphic setting, but just this map is chugging along. It's at like 30 FPS according to Fraps now. It's not great. So the frame rate is always going to be choppy, and this isn't even with any units on the map. But anyways, we are at your spawn. Uh, this is the very corner of the map, this is where all your shit's going to be coming in. So the lowlands, the swamps and plains are over here, the hills are over here. So going this way is going uphill. Right, you're going up into some hills, big elevation, some ruins. So these are the hills that kind of overlook the uh, route into the town. From over here, you can get a view of the approaches to your kind of starting village, Bistrik. Uh, I'll try and get over here show you what you can see, like this patch of trees would be great if there weren't trees in the way. Like trees off, this is what you can see, you can see all the way down to the highway, but obviously there's actual patches of trees here, here, and here. So the trees are a big line of sight blocker. But looking over again to the west, moving straight along, uh, this is the road that, the other road that leads to the side of the map. Uh, in real life this road doesn't actually go anywhere, it kind of goes and loops around back to the highway so they meet up again. But anyways, this road is coming along, uh, kind of open ground. It's on top of a little bit of a plateau. Uh, it's not very steep slopes, but it's all big hills. Uh, this is kind of the highest area of the map along here, following the road. You're on the high ground, but there's absolutely no visibility to the north. None whatsoever. And by the time you get here, it's still patches of trees and fields, but everything's kind of limited by the trees. So this is where I've put a second alternate exit zone, if we want to actually remove units from the map. Uh, one of the more interesting geographical features on the map is uh, this little valley here. So uh, you can see the, the trees here basically haven't been cut or turned into farmer fields because it's uh, too hilly. So I'll turn the trees off to give you a sense, but you can see it's all, it's, uh, all varied terrain leading in here, lots of gentle slopes coming down into uh, the central point. It's kind of the lowest point here, it's swampy. The highways here, uh, this actually is an interesting point because the highway is like a gigantic, almost sheer cliff up here. This point of highway is like a wall. But on your starting side of the highway, on the south side, you have this big valley with trees and hills all around and the plateau with plains on the road. So now we're in the middle of the map so this is the side I've mostly looked at. Uh, whoops. This is where all the hills are. You can see it's all elevated. So moving on to the other side of the map, first of all, you have this big patch of trees here, very conveniently located. 
very thick trees. Like, good luck putting any vehicles through here. Uh, but from this patch of trees, excellent lines of sight. Going all the way into the opposite village. Excellent lines of sight. Very, very open plains. Got some good varied terrain on this map, I like to think. But this road, this is the intersection right here. The intersection is visible for miles around. Uh, you can see it from pretty much every angle. Going all the way back into your village. Uh, the trees in the village there have a view on it. And really you can see straight up into the other village. So those houses, for example, you know, it's a straight line with no trees from there all the way back to here. Fun, fun little button that lets me just reverse perspectives. So this is looking at the village where the Russians are starting from, that general direction, that kind of uh, northwest direction. And this is looking southeast. So these houses, those are directly opposing. Granted, so that would be uh, those houses and these barns. That is a couple of kilometers. That is a long shot. But anyways, going from the middle of the map here, get back down into it. Moving up into the opposing side of the map, this is the north side of the highway. You can see it's a lot of the same thing. It kind of slopes up into hills uh, approaching the highway. It's kind of still flatlands and rivers out on the other side. You can see that big hills there. Here's those houses I was talking about. These houses here. You can see there are really long sight lines this part of the map. Just fucking massive. But big hills. You can see from this village here. It's kind of overlooked by this little plateau. Uh, this plateau has pretty good sight lines. So, they're mostly restricted to this part of the map, so you can see, you can see a hill there, but that's uh, on the south side of the road. Oh my god, the controls here. So, not amazing sight lines, but this is one of the higher points, and it definitely overlooks the actual village proper. So, as far as, like, other geographical features go, uh, there's a little stream in this location that's not represented by actual water but by swamp uh, which I assume means just very very high chances of shit bogging especially because this map will be raining and the ground will be uh, wet I believe so this road is kind of the way in if you're not using this road you're crossing swamps it's a similar thing kind of over to the west of your spawn same river generally uh these forests and trees are going to make it difficult for any vehicles to move through. But you kind of have a sense that this map is very much split into separate and distinct parts. So you have villages and plains and then all prohibitive woodland features. So it's going to be very interesting to see how you guys play this. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to see a more complete kind of flyby, let me know. If you want any specific points addressed, uh, it's going to take me fucking like three hours to upload this video. So you'll have time to think of things while I upload this video and other videos. But, you know, here's me just panning around the map with trees off to kind of give you a sense of the topography. Lots of little dips. Yeah, this part of the map. Might as well be the Himalayas. Well, the highway. So what I think is a fun little exercise is actually taking a route down the highway, as it would appear to somebody actually driving on it. It actually takes a while. This camera moves very fast, but you can see here we're going down the map. We're traveling from east to west, so towards the direction ideally you want to be traveling on. As we go through the highway, you can see how it kind of goes up into some hills kind of reach a little bit of a peak, starts going back down, and you go back to another peak at the very end. And then Krovelitz, just down the road. So that does it for me. Again, hit me up if you have anything else you want to see, and I will see you for the next video, be that the first turn or another wheel of map.